Hello, my name is Rich Howard, owner of Architectural Builder Supply, and this video is to bring you a closer look at the Quick Set. This is their part number 293 round rosette. And this is exactly what it sounds like. It's just a round rosette that's going to fit underneath your typical knob or lever lock. And that's what it looks like in the packaging. There are instructions on the back side of the carded packaging. And quite frankly, I've got a scan of what this says down below so that you can uh, just simply review it. You know, instructions, step one, remove the lock. Step two, put the rosette and the lock back on the door. Not a lot to it. Uh, but let's uh, pull this out of the package and take a closer look at it. First of all, this is available in four finishes. The US 3, which would be polished brass. US 5, which would be antique brass. US 15, which is satin nickel. And then US 2060, which is satin chrome. Uh, those are the four finishes. Now, admittedly, you're generally going to order these in sets of two. They're sold as each. I can't think of a scenario where you would really use only one. That's actually not true. I can. Well, it would be a very unusual circumstance, I suppose, where you would use only one. Um, well, I mean... Yeah, I, I, I could think of certain scenarios. You might have, you might have an exterior door where you want to dress up the look of the exterior tr uh, lock set preparation, uh, and you might also then have an interior condition that would would not permit the inclusion of a uh, rosette like this. Well, that's you know probably a very un or atypical sort of scenario. There are others where you would actually uh, use this, such as. You want to just beautify, upgrade, or make possibly look more elegant. Uh, you want to change the look, the design of an existing installation. Okay, a pair of these would certainly uh, potentially serve that purpose for you. Uh, you might have an issue with the face of the door. Maybe you have gone from a certain type of lock to a different lock, but the rosette on the new locks are a lot smaller than the old locks, and you can't go back to the old locks and now you've got a paint ring around the face of the door, you could add a pair of these. Or, let's say that you're drilling a door and you've got that 2 and an eighth multi-spur bit, which I don't suggest people use those ever to install locks onto doors, to drill holes into doors. Those bits have a tendency to tear the wood out and flare it out if you're drilling into a Luon or an open cell wood like oak. A lot of possibility to really tear, and even on closed cell uh, species of veneer like birch or maple, um, you can get a you can get damage on the face of the door, and I've uh, been on lock jobs in the past where people have done that. And they just rip the face of the door open. So all of a sudden, that client now has a couple of no charge sets of rosettes under under their deadbolt. So you want to be careful when you're drilling. Or same problem, you drill the hole, but it's at the wrong back set, or you've discovered that the hardware, the latch bolt in the box, is both not adjustable and incorrect for what was drilled. You can use this if you ovalize the hole to mitigate that sort of problem because, and let's go over its dimensional properties, you can see that it's about 3 and 13 16 diameter, but if you had to shift that from a 2 and 3 eighths to a 2 and 3 quarter, you've got just enough diameter on the ring to make that happen. Obviously this is going to be a 2 and an eighth inch inside hole, and you're going to notice a couple of half circles and you are definitely going to want to install those um, at three and at three and nine o'clock. They will be installed horizontally because that's just generally where those are installed. Okay, not generally, exclusively where they're installed because lock sets will typically have a couple of prongs that will need to seat into those holes, and that works to prevent the lock set from rotating. But this trim uh, has a couple of dimples or teats on the back. Now, if you're going into a wood door, when you tighten the lock down, those are going to seed into the face of the door, and that will help prevent unintentional rotation as well. If you're going onto a metal clad door, you might want to uh, not grind those off, but you might want to uh, uh, locate and mark and then drill a couple of small holes and have those dimples fit into those holes so that you don't get rotation. A knob. Not so much, but when you're dealing with a lever, you can get a, you can get unintentional rotation out of the lock set, and you really want to have all of 
the design built into the rosette and the lock working to your advantage to prevent that by these, by the dimples of the lock going into these half circles and then these dimples being vertical and biting into the face of the door one way or another. Okay. Uh, the name Quickset is quite synonymous with all things residential locks, whether it's their standard builder's caliber locks and a Tylo knob or a Delta lever, the 400 series, um, just pulling part numbers out of my memory from decades ago, uh, all the way up to their upgraded version of their Titan lock to their new versions of uh, keyless locks. Quickset also has an offering of ancillary hardware, such as a rosette. And they also put out, for some people, a very nice... Uh, uh, offering of installation tools, marking bits, uh, strike locators, latch bolt locators, installation kits where you'll get your clamp and a drill bit to drill everything. I don't like those kits myself and that's my personal preference. I also don't make a living installing locks but I've installed tens of thousands of locks um, and I just don't prefer having an installation kit. I like doing it by hand. I find that, quite frankly, it's faster and I can control the installation better. But to other people, they would not consider installing a lock without a quick set installation tool. Um, and I'm familiar with those tools, so if you have any questions on purchasing that, please feel free to reach out. If you have any questions on the quick set, this is their part number 293 round rosette in a US 15 finish. And again, sold as each, but you're probably going to always need to buy these in multiples of two. Any questions on this or any other Quickset product, please feel free to reach out to us. And thank you.